traders, this is Mike Hamilton for Trade the Easy Way, and before I dive into my analysis for this week, just a quick recap on what we've got coming up this week. We have got UK, the big week for you for UK for the pound, with UK inflation, UK jobs, and then rates on Thursday. And on the US side, we have um, inflation in the second half of the week. So I'm just looking at the pressure that could be on the upside of the dollar. So I've decided to start this analysis with the gold. You can see on this weekly chart on the left, we are in this downward channel and we are very, very high up into that downward channel. So with indices coming off, selling off on Friday, we'll look at that in a moment, obviously, and indices coming off, I am looking at this as evidence that this is strength in the dollar dominating the markets and so looking forward to seeing some greater strength in the dollar and the opportunities that that can present. So uh, as far as the dollar, this goal is concerned, I think uh, we were holding up. We still had a higher close last week, but I'm just looking for this to potentially start to come back to the 200 EMA. I've been talking about this for a couple of weeks now, but looking for this to come back. Um, I am slightly hesitant because we have closed higher and this is refusing to roll over at the moment. Um, we are trapped between this moving average here, the 50-day moving average, and the top of that channel. But um, yeah, if you are wanting to trade this gold, I would look for any pullbacks into 1340, 1350 to get short. And now let's look at the euro. Let's just flick straight to the euro. This has been this has been a big box play ever since we dropped down here on June 2015, June, uh, sorry, is it June? Yeah, January last year, we've been in this massive box play and you can see on this daily chart on the right that we have hit 11360 and sold over a couple of weeks but um, still holding up. But there is a, a buy signal on Friday, and Friday we engulf Thursday's bar so I would suggest you might want to short into this area here and as per the theme of this week look for greater strength in the dollar and the euro coming off and if we now flick over to the pound US dollar you can see we have a weaker close last week on this left chart and we're just coming into contact with the 20 day moving average on the daily chart now, the data that's expected on the pound is expecting to be stronger on the inflation side and much weaker on the jobs. So we might see a push higher into the early part of the week. And as the US or UK and US inflation data comes out, we might see some weakness in the second half of the week. So any push back into something like 340, 400 could be an opportunity to get short. And when you see on this weekly this 20-day um, moving average is just drifting lower. I think once we come in contact with that, that could trigger the next leg down. But stay tuned. Um, if the daily chart, daily chart starts looking very positive, and this 20-day moving average looks as if that's going to hold, then we could wave back up to at least 136. So I think as far as the pound is concerned, I would leave it be. Let's get some more data behind us. But um, Although the euro has not been an easy trade, I would still personally like to look at some shorts up here to see if we can start closing below 112. Moving over to, let's just stick with the dollar thing for the moment. There is the US dollar yen. So the yen is seeing a lot of strength. That was a lower close last week, a hangman type bar, which generally means this is lower and we are struggling here looking as if that could want come and test close to 100 again. But so I'm steering clear of this one at the moment and just waiting until potentially the middle of the week before I engage that one. Pound in now. Um, massive support 153, we're very close to 153. So I'm going to hold judgment on that one until at least in Monday and into Tuesday when we've got the first tranche of major data coming. Okay, I'll update your trades around table on the other pairs if I see anything more interesting. But on this uh, weekly, 
So finally, we got the um, the drop on the f on Friday, and we are now coming to this daily 200 EMA. So the first time we've tested the 200 EMA since uh, we dropped down here after Brexit. So let's see if we, I'd like a push into 18 to 50, 300 to see if I can then get short and to capture some of that Friday drop and then see if we can come down the test 17,000. Of course, if all we are going to do is find some buyers down here, then obviously I want a higher close above 18,000. But uh, yeah, I want to wait. I'm just going to let the markets lift themselves up into that area and then try and get short at that point. Oil suffering under the dollar strength, so that's so we're holding higher close last week. But um, if that is going to push back, and uh, that did have a mighty good week from the 2nd of September through to the 8th. Uh, if we are going to get bought here, then this is potentially a good place to get in around about the 45 area to see if we can come and test 50. But yeah, oil is trading dollars and the dollar is strengthening as we speak. Uh, this is half past nine, 9.35 London time. So the market's been open an hour 35 and we are seeing dollar strength into this period. Right, um, that's all I'm going to do at this stage. So it's going to be a comprehensive look at Forex and of course the dollar influence and impact on certain stock sectors as well. So we'll be looking at some stock scans as usual. All right, do join me for that and just watch out for news about Trade the Easy Way on your email. Thanks very much for joining me and bye for now.